Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing HBAR and going over a market outlook and kind of give my thoughts on generally where I think this is headed over the next few weeks and months and ultimately where it could potentially peak at for the duration of the market cycle. So I want to begin with a weekly chart so each candle represents one week of price action and kind of just outline this general uptrend that's kind of provided support on two major occurrences here um, you can see how after each bounce off this we have these crazy rallies so for example in 2020 you could see how we bounced 700 percent off this trend line and then again at the end of 2020 we bounced off it and it was a around an 1100 to 1200 percent rally so pretty significant here and you can notice that we are coming back down towards this trend line and one of the things you could look out for is if we say come down and then just kind of bounce off it and take out some of these local highs right around say the 27 cent area so if we get that and we have that confirmation that we have this kind of reversal pattern um, that would be absolutely great for HBAR, especially over the next few weeks, because you can see how any time we've bounced off this, it's kind of um, began a, a very significant rally, right? So that is something I'm going to be looking out for. If you if you see it down at this kind of 14 and a half cent area, um, you might want to consider accumulating more if you're long this project, if you believe in it longer term. Again, guys, this is not this is not like a daily chart. This is not going to happen over the next few hours. This is this is a little bit uh, longer term, so I wouldn't consider this um, to be very useful if you're if you're solely looking at say an hourly or a or a daily chart. Okay, and um, also I wanna I wanna kind of highlight this general pattern where we have um, this kind of sideways consolidation into into the trend line and then a spike right sideways consolidation into the trend line and then a spike so we're kind of seeing that here um, you know even though it's a it's a pretty significant range here we we've kind of gone sideways for for quite some time here and if you kind of if you see price break above these highs right where price has just just been unable to get above um, we haven't had any closes above around the 44 cent area so uh if you see us get back above this and and kind of close above this level here and then come down and hold that as support that would be the ultimate bullish single signal that would uh, lead me to believe we are going to kick off the next major run that could take us to the the mania peak phase right so where could that potentially bring us well if you'll notice here we do have again 800 percent and then this one was around 1100 percent so if we kind of take the averages of those and and kind of overlay that to this mark and say maybe 900 percent you can see how quickly it can get up very very high um to the dollar 150 area i think that's quite reasonable especially if bitcoin's headed over to say hundred thousand dollars for its market cycle peak and over the long haul, I think that HBAR is going to have um, a, a very significant space in the crypto ecosystem, right? I think a lot of a lot of these projects kind of fit into their own little niche, and so I think HBAR is one of those where it could have um, some some significant market share, especially um, you know considering the fact that longer term, it's kind of it's got these crazy moves where it just kind of outperforms most of the market I know a lot of altcoins made some pretty significant rallies but you know it's kind of hard to be a 1500 percent run in just a few months right so definitely a very volatile token which leads me to my my point on risk if you are um, considering altcoins definitely definitely look at say the market cap because the lower our market cap is uh, the higher higher volatile volatility it has right so if you if you are not very um, comfortable with having these major swings both to the upside and the downside then maybe you don't want to have a, a super large allocation right it's all about the right allocation size 
if if you can't sustain a 15 or 20 percent drop in the short term then it's probably going to be an over allocation and you do not want to be stressing about the the short term moves because that kind of clouds your judgment and your emotions when considering the long term implications right if you have a longer term vision that we can ultimately reach the dollar 50 area then then there's really no need to worry and stress over another say 15 percent drop right especially if it's toward this major support area that we've outlined so guys i think a price prediction of a dollar 50 is, is quite reasonable and it's doable and manageable especially if bitcoin and ethereum are both bullish over the long term which i am bullish on both of those I'm bullish on a lot of altcoins, and I think that you know over the market cycle, give it one two years, I think a dollar fifty is a great reasonable price prediction and target, especially towards the end of say a mania mania phase. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to show some support to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.